at a CFD model I made of the B20F. And then, yeah, so um, what I'll first um, go over is um, go over the baseline model, and then we'll go over the uh, modifications I made, um, or b basically I'll I'll go ahead and show the final modification that I made that was basically the best flowing port that I could come up with. <laughs> All right, so now um, this is the baseline um, B20F. So what we're looking at here is a, a steady state simulation um, showing uh, 28 inches of pressure difference between the... Uh, oops. All right, so we have the inlet boundary condition, which is the um, basically the piston there, and then we have the exhaust boundary condition, which is this dome that I made on there. And again, there's uh, 28 inches of pressure difference between the inlet and outlet, and we're doing just a pure um, pressure-driven flow. So what we're looking at here is this is a surface plot of the, of the velocity magnitude, okay? So we can see here we have this really horrible um, throat, this choke point that the factory put in, and we have by far the highest velocity regions right there at the um, port opening side of the throat. And again, this is um, uh, really small. I believe this is only like a 20, 26 millimeter throat or so, so it's ridiculously small. Um, okay, so that, again, so this is showing a velocity magnitude, okay? So now let's look at a clip. So this is a horizontal slice, and this is a little bit more representative of what we have going on inside of the actual port. Okay, so we have the airflow comes up here and we have that horrible pinch point right there. And the other big problem with this port is, this is the one that basically everybody knows about, is the top of the port there is, is this big chunk there that Volvo added. And um, presumably they added this this big mass of material going in there to allow them to run a, um, to basically allow them to shroud the exhaust valve guide in a lot of material and basically to, 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 to try and keep the um, valve guide as cool as they can in the exhaust port. But the drawback of that is that leaves this really tight constriction where all the flow has to go through right here and we can see this is the velocity magnitude is by far the hottest right there and right there and then we have basically no flow at all going on at the base of the port and there's no flow going on right there so if we look at the rid of the clip so we can see the out the outlet boundary condition. It basically directs all the flow to that region up there, and then that's all we're seeing. So we can look at another clip. Um, this is a horizontal slice through here, showing the slice through the um, throat area. So we can see that the hottest area right there is right along um, the front, the short side radius of that port, and which is incidentally the exact area on the B20E where the port is off, or I'm sorry, the throat is offset or biased forward towards the throat opening and um, outwards towards the cylinder wall side. So on the B20E, um, that region there is around two millimeter, two, right around two to three millimeters or so bigger, right there in that front region, and same in the back, okay? So what's going on in the back? Well, we can see that there's very little flow going on in the back, in the, in the long side or far side, so 
there is zero advantage to doing any porting here on the far side. The only only place that it makes sense to, to do any porting here is on the short side. So let me go back up to the main um, outside plot. So put that. Uh, yeah, that's the view I want. Okay. So what we need to do is we need to get rid or we need to really enlarge this throat area. So what I did, so, so let me go ahead and switch over to the modifications I made. Okay. So this is now looking at um, the the outline of the head or the, the port here. Okay. Uh, uh, yeah. Okay. Sorry. Okay. I'm just looking at something else. Okay. So we have this, um, the head here. And then what I did was I went ahead and basically cut a 29 millimeter hole. Oops. And I bored this throat. So effectively what I did is I took a virtual bit or a virtual um, boring head, bored a 29 millimeter throat, opening it up to right around the same um, throat diameter as the B20E. And I biased that. Yeah, there we go. Okay. Oops. So I... Okay, yeah, there we go. Okay, yeah, so we can see here we have the valve seat center right around there. And then I cut that 29 millimeter opening around one and a half millimeters forward towards the throat opening. And it, this, is, this is right around the best region I came up with for uh, good flow. And then let's look at the CFD. Oh, yeah, so anyway, okay. So I bored that opening, get rid of that, get rid of the baseline head, and showing the final ported head here, okay? So this final ported head, we can see that, that this results from opening up the throat to 29 millimeters. So that opens it up quite a bit there. And then, uh, uh, and then I just, rounded over the short side, I rounded over the short side radius there, um, rounded over the short side radius there, did some little hand rounding there, and then um, basically cut or um, just basically enlarged that big bulge there. So let's look at the results of um, that model. Okay. So this is now looking at the CFD model of the best um, of the best uh, flowing um, port that I came up with here. Okay, so we can see that there's that throat. It's been significantly enlarged. So this is before, after. So baseline ported head, baseline, ported head, and then the top, this is uh, baseline, ported head. So we can see I just filled in, or actually enlarged, that region there. And I also gave this a three-angle um, valve job there. So get rid of the baseline, okay. So now we're looking at the port at the results of our virtual porting efforts, okay? So we can see that there is still quite a bit of um, high velocity flow. Oh, okay. Oh, so sorry, flow numbers. Um, baseline, I think the baseline flow was right around, um, it was like 100 CFM of um, flow. And the ported one 
Um, this ported one is around 120 CFM, so uh, about 20% 20, 20 or so improvement in flow. Okay, so there still might be a bit of, there still might, actually there still is quite a bit of improvement I could do, but I really don't want to make that um, valve seat insert too thin to run into sort of any cracking issues or so there, but we can see there's still a high velocity flow areas are right there. There is virtually no flow here on the far side, and we can enlarge that up. So let's let's look at a few clips. Okay. So this is a slice through a, a vertical slice through the port. Okay. So we can see that we've significantly improved flow. And that we are we're now using a significantly more of our port. We're actually using for usable flow rather than having the entire area blocked off and having all the flow go through the roof. Okay, so still high velocity flow there. We've increased the velocity there in the back, so we're basically doing a more efficient use of the. Um, the valve opening and uh, yeah so that's that slice so now we got a, a horizontal slice okay so this is through that throat okay so we can see that the throat it is biased forward towards the port opening and we're still getting very little flow through the back, which is you know fine, but point is is that there's no reason to enlarging for enlarging the backside. We can still look at what we can do at enlarging the short side radius there. Okay, so that's so bias forward. Okay, good. Um, now let's look at a another vertical slice. So this slice, uh, you can see that. Um, Okay, so this slice is made right around at the forward edge of the throat opening, okay? So that is still obviously a hot zone there. Um, yeah, we can probably enlarge a little bit there, maybe a little bit there. Um, yeah, definitely there's no point to enlarging anything on the roof there. Okay. Um, now, this slice is a little bit further back, um, closer towards the valve. Okay. So, um, yeah, so this is starting to show some more efficient use of the, um, of the, of the um, bowl area here. Um, and then still biggest restriction is right there to the throat. Um, when I go to port this finally, I think I might give a little, see if I can give a little bit um, larger radius there. Um, maybe do a little bit smoother there. I don't know. So, okay, great. So now let's look at streams. Okay. So before we show just um, slices, through the head um, slices. Um, so now what we're looking at is actually streamlines or um, flow lines. So what I did here is this is the source. So I created a ball here with um, 500 random seed points in this, um, oops, about 500 random seed points inside that ball there, and then we follow the trajectory of those seeds as they exit the port, okay? So, great. Um, so, let me see if I can move that. It's every single 3D program has a different way of interacting with the mouse, which is super annoying. That's why it's kind of cumbersome. Anyway, so we can see the streamlines. We have very little flow. Um, virtually none of those seeds 
follow a trajectory that goes in this far wall. So again, completely pointless trying to open that up. Um, where we can try and open it up a little bit more is right there on the front of the throat, on the front of the short side radius. Okay, so that's what we're looking like there. I will get rid of the outside. Okay, so now we're just looking at streamlines. Oh yeah, and the color here represents um, vo velocity magnitude. Okay, so we got slow velocity, doing a lot of acceleration. Um, maximum velocity there is right there at the um, short side radius. So do a little bit of improvement there. Um, and I don't know, I, I think I'm probably going to leave the roof alone. So anyway, um, this, this has been just a CFD study. Um, I, I went through probably 20, 30 different models, different um, port ideas, um, ways of removing material here and there. And um, this, this is probably around the best I came up with for a, this is just going to be just a purely a street engine, some autocross just to have some fun, not looking for any serious racing. Um, so, um, yeah, there we go. So, um, guys, uh, hopefully maybe we learned something. And, um, yeah, if uh, any ideas you have um, for, oh, yeah, if you guys have any ideas for different kinds of port designs, um, please let me know. It's pretty easy for me to virtually make a new port design and run a CFD model because I spent a lot of time writing the, um, the uh, scripts and so forth to do this analysis. So, um Thanks.